what else is there to, uh, to cover, really? What well, we, they buffed swarms we, in a patch before patch this, notes? didn't they? Yeah, they did. I'm going to look the patch notes up so we've actually got something to refer to. Hotfix Delta, or Hotfail Delta. Hotfix Delta. Did they ever give a so reason why they stopped doing like 1.9, 2.0, whatever? Did they ever stop give a reason? Because for they're not. I think the kind of gist of it is these are just small tweaks to numbers, and so they're. I mean, it's not really a hot fix in no. quote marks. It's just a, you know, one point all the way up to the one points were all about inside patching, and they went hot fixing, and that's mm. just a little bit weird. Something that I want to do is I want to start a new character so that I can see these. This they've done stuff to the new player experience. That's what I read about this. Um, so they've added a load of the weapons to the market, all except for the Nova knife at the moment. It's not there. <laughs> it should be apparently the, uh, when this sidearm starts up. That's what they should be doing. So they've they've done that but, for um, the seven or so people that are new players, yeah. Oh. Yeah, the actual new players. Not the people not that the... are <laughs> But you see, they've, they've the nuked the ISK yet. Yeah. Did you see that? They've nuked that ISK. I saw that. Yeah, so there's no, that's going to be a that. huge drop in new players, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, apparently, according to a certain website... Let's go, go look at this a certain website. A certain website says that there's 328 new mercs created in the last hour. Let <laughs> me mm. just stroke my neck a bit. <laughs> yeah, of course they have. Of course they have. Look, can't you see them? Look, they're all over the map. <laughs> no, well, we will see them because they're in the academy for longer now. It's the next one is going to get to. So, so they're in their academy for um, like twice as long now. Is that right? Yeah, well, a little bit longer than twice as long. Oh, is it? Awesome. Okay. Um, they upped it from two four hundred war points to five thousand. Yeah. Um, yeah. So they all the militia sidearms because they need to do that, and they also added. A militia HMG. Oh, really? Ooh. Which is, it's been a long time coming. Obviously, it's got some serious drawbacks. I haven't looked into the, the numbers there either because, lol, why would I bother? Um, What's the difference, though? Is it, I mean, the militia HMG is probably going to fire oh, paintball. At, at, a, at a guess, I would say it's exactly the same damage as the stand. Yeah. It has more build up, I would have thought, and yeah. probably lower mag. That, that's my guess. Or maybe a longer reload time. And with the same fixed costs as more than a standard, probably close to advance or something like that. That's just what I would have thought it would be. But they've also, the real reason I want to try it, or like give it a go, um, like, like creating a new character, is because they've added these Mark II special issue starter frames. So, it's like slightly upgraded versions of the uh, actional um, frame. Oh, just so you know, you've got a tag headed towards the point. I just killed it. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, a tank. Oh, no, tank coming towards the point. Ah, okay. Tank. Yeah, there's a LAV and just there's the a LAV. missile tank. The missile tank. I'm going to come in my AV again and see what swarms are like. Um. So yeah. Well, that's good. I mean, yeah. adding a. Oh, that, that's so that's good. the nice stuff, I guess, for new people. Plus, also they changed a load of other bits and pieces that they really like reduced the money. As jokingly made a little joke about. And they've what they've done is in in reducing the money, the, your risk start up. They've um, they've increased the amount of skills that you actually get to start with. So, so you've already got them pre-plugged in, then, right? Yeah, oh look at that! Exactly. Like six from left the battle. Oh, he was a good player. He was a really good player. We've been yeah, fighting against him all. all we've been fighting with him all the uh, all left the yeah. game. I only shot him once. Why. He raged. Okay, so watch your the barracks. There's another tank incoming. Ugh. Um, oh yeah, see it, yeah, see it. Oh the, my god, it's like M25 down there. <laughs> Holy moly, it is really like the M25. <laughs> Someone got in with a plasma cannon. Um, Whoa, I think I'm being hunted. Yeah, there's a tank behind you. I just saw a whole gang of people just see it was me and then <laughs> run up the stairs towards me. It's like, ah, uh, okay. It's scared now. So, 
run away. I did. Wait, wait buddy. No, I managed to survive as well. I'm quite surprised. It's because they're all inside the building. It looks like. Yeah. From I'm looking. There's a dropship outside the friendly one outside the city socket. Dip ship, you say? So, who, what else have we? Got? Oh yeah, weapons and turrets apparently. Oh, I got shot down. The weapons and turrets is the kind of the next article. Yeah, so the heavy turret reloads like a shotgun, you say. That's quite a nice idea. Well, that's the... Um, Was that ever a problem? Though? Yeah, that's... Well, apparently the large missile turret was, uh, you know... It was unpowered, I mean. See, I always thought it was designed, right, so that the large, that the large turret was supposed to be like a, a shoot your load, pun intended, <laughs> and then you've, uh, and then you've got to like, walk Retreat it up, for a cigarette and sit down and... Yeah, exactly, <laughs> unless, unless you're a young, a young chap, you, you just reload and go again, no, <laughs> but it was supposed to be a shoot load, <laughs> and um... And then you'd have a, a pause in between because well you'd run away. That was that was its weakness, weak. wasn't it? Well, that, that was it. It was very powerful, exactly. but it also had a weakness. Exactly. Well, it was designed so that you could like, alpha damage. It was designed as an alpha damage weapon. Well, at least that's what I understood it to be. I mean, every other weapon has some form of sustained fire. Mm. Even the heat build up and oh, no. rail turrets can be matched, so you don't have to. I have to have a great deal of time in between firing and blaster as well. Anyway, digressing. So now it reloads like a shotgun. Uh, that's quite clever. So, however, however, really large missile using friend, Del Boy, <laughs> whenever he screams it's a one shot, he's reloaded enough for that one shot. Hmm. That's quite good. So apparently, that. It is. It's a. I don't know. If it is a good thing. I think it's kind of like counterintuitive to actual balance. I mean, now it's kind of like the. I win weapon for vehicles is definitely the large missile threat. Oh really? Oh, I mean, God. Vehicle vehicle v vehicle engagements just seems like that's the case. But they've changed the damage profile twenty percent against minus twenty percent against um, vehicles. Wow, no one has any uh, spawn pads. Uh, sorry, minus, <laughs> minus 20% against shield and uh, plus 20 against armor, which is what it should have been anyway. My forum work is basically, here, here, let me shit right in the middle of the floor of this forum and then run away and never go back to the scene of my crime. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's Serves me well. <laughs> it gets people really mad. Yep. It does seem to, it's like you just come in, you know, you just like, yes, yeah, this is... Here's this is my opinion, don't care what you lot think, fuck it, there we go. <laughs> Bye! Okay, right. <laughs> Slow wave off into the, uh, into the distance. So, yeah, that's one of the turret changes. This is a, a load of waffle, I'd just like to say. There's going to need to be some serious editing of this waffle. <laughs> You'd think that, but no. <laughs> yeah, there's probably not going to be. Um, so, oh yes, my favourite rebalance! The sniper Ooh. rifle! The sniper <laughs> rifle. Oh. So what actually because did they change if, on it? I actually don't know. anything needed a buff, if anything needed a buff, <laughs> it was the sniper rifle. Yeah, it was so underpowered. Oh. From the red line, I mean, yeah. Let's be honest here. Yeah. Lots of jumping fools. So, what did they do to the sniper rifle? Well, they gave it an all-over damage buff, for starters. Okay. So, all of the weapons got a, a, a nice damage little buff. But, on the downside, they reduced the range on them. Of all the things to do, Pirates, they reduced the range by a whole 50 meters in some cases. Wow. How unusable is that now? I mean, so now, now you have to actually, like, you know, move a little bit forward in order to shoot the point from the red line. <laughs> um, and they also they, they ridiculously improved the headshot bonus. So oh, God, now again. 
Wow, I mean that well, was no, just so they needed, did wasn't it? Wow. I mean, three hundred percent. How did these people survive with you know, that gun all this time? Amazing. I know. I know. I mean, from the red line of all places. I mean, it only took you. Uh, it only took you to like suicide and dropship into the red line to go get them, or oh. you know, drive a drive an LAV or deep into the red line and 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 kill them just to explode a second later. <laughs> <laughs> and God. then miss them because they're in heavily tanked yeah, and then miss them <laughs> exactly I just I don't get it I really don't who, who is advising um, CCP is it fucking Bert and Ernie because it feels like there's just they're just like talking to monkeys who are just throwing their feces around or something I don't want to well, say the CPM I mean, you because know. like they, they can't be completely fucking stupid but then again well it's it's I don't know how can they get that so no wrong? No comment, no comment. How can they get it so wrong? Seriously, I don't get it. I mean, just minus... Just, it would take another... In most cases, it would watch yourself on the left pirates. Grenade behind you. Yep. Right on you. Um, it would take... It would take some serious effort to, to realise that, you know... That... 50 meters. If they dropped it to 400 meters, in some cases they actually wouldn't be able to reach the the point from the red line, and you might actually get some people leaving it in order to, you know, engage you. But that's obvious crazy talk. Obvious, obvious crazy. I know. Talk. I mean, hell, it, it seemed to fix the the red line rail situation, didn't it? <laughs> it did. Yeah, you're right. They could still, you know, they're more than entitled but, to sit on the red line if they so no. wish, but they won't kill anything. Yeah, exactly. All they're going to do is defend the red line. <laughs> Fair play to you. You want to defend the red line? Go ahead. It's almost unbelievable. I mean, I, oh, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I sit here and I just kind of... Some of the ideas are good, like you know, speeding up the projectile of the plasma cannon. I was going to say, that's good the idea. next thing to come on to. Is What's your favourite, the plasma cannon. So what actually have they changed in it then? As far as I'm aware, it's well, just, just the, speed. the projectile speed. Just yeah. the projectile speed, that's all it is. So Which I am a little bit you fire it, about, I've got it, to admit. It gets to them quicker if you kill them. I'm using it right now, and it basically... Oh, there we go. Is he going to go and hack? Oh, I've got you if you do, son. Oh, man, I missed. Oh, yeah, but you stopped hacking, though. Yes, nice. Go on. And I had another instance of the, uh, the remote explosive going at someone's feet, and it ended up at the top of a wall. <laughs> So, I, I'm glad that's fixed. I'm glad that's fixed. But then again, that can't be fixed, can it? Because that requires... Or that won't be fixed, because that requires... It's server side. side. So, mm. so, no, client side, sorry, I would have thought. Client side, right, right. What's the difference? Is I, it don't client? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, client well, side is the bit we client... download, right? Yeah, client side is the bit where we do like, a, you know, a one or three gig. Uh, you got one chasing your parks. Yep, yep. Um, so yeah, that's the one we're least likely to get. Is the uh, the client side one? For a multitude of different reasons. I would have said one of the major ones being the money is probably cost them a fortune to do. Well, I think they've never really kind of come out and said what it actually is, but I'm, I'm sure they probably have to shoot ah. some some real life isk to um, to Sony. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm not that impressed with the overall. I still think it's 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 nice to have a little bit of polish on the turd but it's still a turd and I would rather rather it not be a turd and be something enjoyable with a bit more variety to it because at the moment it's like every single patch they're doing they're just basically giving a nod and a wink to the people who play it already and that's kind of stupid in a way because they're not they've never tried to yeah. grow the fucking game that's for sure it's not getting any well obviously it's not getting any advertisement because I'm not getting marketing because David Reed's gone now something that you're, you're not gonna. You're not fully concentrating on yeah, your. Yeah. It's a side pro. Dust is a side project now. Yeah, I think uh, they did it to see if they could do something it. on the side. Yeah. 
I, I think that was... I think it might have been more than that, but... Look at that guy, he just died from militia swarms. Wow. I can't get the angle right on this... Uh, I'm engaging that guy on my magsec. <laughs> Oh, Holy oh, moly! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, nice. A wall bar. I haven't seen one of them in a while. <laughs> God, that takes me back. Remember war barges back in my oh. day? Oh, fucking my day. Oh, bollocks, we just lost the. Sp oh, well, game over. So, yeah, go on then, give us, give us some Same conclusion then. Give us some thoughts of conclusion. What about the match? Oh, well, we haven't we finished all of it. I oh, mean, Christ, so there's more. To talk oh, about. God, what else have yes. we done? Buddy, well, there's the the forge gun. I mean, oh, the I didn't know they changed that. Had its splash damage removed. Because <laughs> that was me. Because that was such a big problem, as far as I remember it. Oh, yeah. All but the assault forge gun. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Why Bad. did they think that was even a, a problem? Let's, let's, let's scoot through everything really quickly and finish it all off. Oh, I mean, yeah. There's obviously. Know about the changes to the assault dropship? I mean, that's majorly written out and fried from the hills. A lot of forum posts. Very, very sad Don't changes. Yeah. Really, kind of touch. It's ridiculous, but it's what's been done. So, mm. with it, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, one thing that I will touch on the most stupid thing is the change to the skill. The in the points into the skill now. So. 2.4 million skill points to max out will get you a ridiculous 15% fire rate change as well as your ammo change. It's just, not, it's just not worth it anymore. So, I mean, obviously you don't have to spec anything into it. So, what I would say, if, if anyone wants to try out the assault dropship, don't put anything past there's the skill assault dropship because you don't actually have to spec into it. I, I doubt CCP even know that they, this is Case, but in order to fly an assault dropship, all you have to get is a assault dropship. One, you don't have to get a Kaldari assault dropship or anti assault dropship. Oh, really? In order to fly them, you don't. Wow, didn't know Unless that. Unless they've changed it on the market, I will. I'm going to double check right now to see whether or not I'm talking absolute horse. But either way, I there's no point specking it anymore because they keep fucking there's with not, this bonus. There's not really at all. There's not really any point. In, no. So I'm just double checking myself and. Prerequisites are assault ship one. So that all that means is you need vehicle command three, dropship operation three, and assault drop dropship one. And assault dropship is about the only one that's of any real consequence anyway, because it adds a whole two percent per level to to the damage of your what, turrets on a dropship. So that one's worth it on that kind of sense. It's still bloody expensive for a whole two percent worth of damage. Yeah, so, yeah. Plus, also, it's a six mile flyer, so it's less. I mean, protoing out, as it were, or going full five on an assault dropship is two point is a is a two point four million skill point or two point eight million skill point investment. I forget which one it is. And it's just not worth it anymore. There's just no point at all in doing it. So yeah, mm. that's the one thing I want to point out is no point. In it. Um. Yeah, the first HMG got a nerf needed. Um, Sidearms are now okay. pretty good. Sidearms are pretty good. Your favourite got a, a decent buff. Yeah. Flame lock is now Maybe not quite the way it was back in the day. But... <laughs> yeah. The CCP's attempt to placate me, maybe. Who knows? Quite possibly. More <laughs> than likely. But yeah, there's some really small changes as well, which are pretty ridiculous and not really worth mentioning I'll, I'll skip through them really quickly so in now injectors now when you bring someone up they actually have a certain amount of shields now oh, before really? it started at zero and then it, and it started buffing up so if you've got the 30 percent needle the standard or the finish but when you pick someone up they'll have 30 percent of the shields as oh, well yeah. as 30 percent of their armor which is nice yeah that's clever um shield energizers rechargers and regulators got a cpu reduction it was needed um but again, it doesn't really at all change the fact that I mean, effective hit point stacking is still kind of I win fit. Just doesn't change that. 
Um, Mimitar drop, drop suits got a effective hit point buff to right. bring them in line with everyone else. Even the Commando got a buff, which I don't know if I think that was a good thing. I think that was probably unneeded, but not called for. Uh, still the best Commando suit out there, I think. My yeah. opinion, no one else's. No, but no, I put up our grid optimization skill because that was needed. So what, they're a bit easier but, to fit know, now then, yeah? Yeah, but that's, you still need proficiency 4 in order to buy the skill, so hmm, okay. you need to be kind of an overnight spec. Drop ships that aren't assault drop ships got uh, more hit points and some power grid and CPU. Lardy fucking dark. Oh, but then the uh, as you discovered earlier, the uh, the afterburner and the fuel <laughs> yeah. injector got a massive nerf. And um, the other one, which was like a um, a feel good sense, was the supply depot got its radius increased. And that's it. That's hot fix. That's hot fail delta. That's hot fail I've delta. It. Oh well, he's looking uh, forward yeah. to hot fail. What echo? I guess echo, echo. Um, where they replace all I the guns know. with uh, with candy cane sticks for Christmas, Nerf and guns. we end up shooting people with Christmas tree lights or some stupid bollocks. Roman candle grenades. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh god! 